Hello friends, you are welcome back my family and friends here on YouTube, God bless you, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to our channel, this channel is all of us, this channel is not complete without you my wonderful family, my subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my video, okay, yes guys, in today I want to talk about the power of Sam in your spirituality the power of some when the enemy sit upon your case when they sit upon you if you like travel from your place your town to the highest mountain they will still find you there when they decide to block you anywhere you go the same thing they don't will still follow you when you are facing a lot of problem, a huge problem that you are confused, you put your hand on this, it block. You put your hand on this, it block. You try this way, block. Everything you are doing, nothing is working out. Try this sign, okay? When you find out that this situation is too stubborn, stubborn situation that refuse to go, You've been dealing on that situation, and that situation look as if it's really eating you up. It's really eating all your resources. It's taking the better part of you. Try this sound this way, and you will see changes by special grace of God. Okay. When the enemy refuses to leave you alone, all right. You find out that suddenly things just turn upside down. It is not what you have in mind. What you plan doing is what is not what you are seeing. The things that you plan is things are turned upside down. Things are not working out for you. Things are not going well for you. You have been praying and praying. Try praying on this psalm. On this psalm. Okay. You find out that you have been doing well before in life. All of a sudden, something just happened. You can't tell what happened. But you realize that something happened to you. And ever since then, you have not been able to get back to your state. Try this sound. This sound. Because when the ter territorial demons are around you, Caging you, or when the enemy are sitting on you, you may not be able to do things. Okay, who are we fighting? We are fighting those we don't know. Okay, so it's none of your business who they are. Like the woman that that share her testimony with me, that she find out that actually this is the person that was behind the problem. I usually tell you, do not focus on the person behind the problem. Focus on the problem. So that God be in his own way, expose you behind the problem. But let him give you victory as he's exposing who is behind the problem. Exposing the enemy is not the solution. Victory is the solution you need. If the enemy has tied you, God says this one that tie you. Let the person lose you and restore to you everything they have stolen from you. That is the main thing you should concentrate on. The victory to come out from that stage, not to find who, who is doing you. Who is doing you are wasting more time. All right? Now, without wasting much of your time, because I don't really want this video to be long, I need you to write at all the problems. That you think that this is your major problem. For example, you, you are a business person, you have not been making sales. You pack your load, you, you open your shop, you go to your business centers. The money you are realizing, you are running loss. Okay? Or you find out you are you have been working in your place of office, no promotion. You have been there. They said they will be demoting you. They will bring others. They will promote. They will favor 
everything. I want you to know that something is wrong. So we are going to take a plain sheet of paper. All right? A plain sheet of paper like this. Like this. You're going to... Okay, my Bible is here. Like this. You're going to write out all the problems. When you write out all the problems, okay, midnight, at midnight, whenever you wake up, you will take that problem. Take Psalm 109. Psalm 109. And begin to read it on the problem. Read it. This is your the problem you have written out. Okay? You just be reading Psalm 109 on that problem. You will read Psalm 119 the end. You will read it again three times. That's how you are going to read the psalm on the problem. You wrote the problem. You will be reading the psalm. So you can open your psalm from your phone or your Bible. You just open the psalm. You are looking at the psalm. You are reading it. You are reading it on the problem. You will read it for three nights. No, you will read it three times every night three times any time you wake up you will read it three times okay and you will keep it every night until you have a revelation that you have been liberated from that problem i hope you understand what i'm trying to say i said you will write the problem on a piece of paper you will go to your bible to sam 109. You are going to read the Psalm 109 on that pro problem that you are written down that you don't want again. You will read it three times, beginning to the end. Three times. You will be doing it continuously, continuously until you see revelation, until you see changes in that problem. You can just do it three times. And you see changes anytime you wake up in the night you will carry that problem that problem you will read that psalm 109 on it three times you will keep it till you, when you read it you pray because it's prayer you are praying now as you are reading on it you are praying all right another thing again i want you to know is that you will get a sand Get a sand of that country that you are, of that country that you are staying, okay, or your place, the sand, the soil of that sand. You are going to get that sand. You will pray on that sand, all right? You are going to pray Psalm 102 on that sand. You are going to declare favor. Let the sand recognize you for favor. For example, you are staying in a country, you don't have paper, you don't have job, you have been begging. The sand has not welcomed you. Okay? When the sand of that place welcomes you, it will begin to work for your favor. So get the sand of that place. If there is no sand, get the flower of that place. Something that grow up from that place. Something that was cultivated. I don't know. Get the sand or flower in that place, in that country that you are staying. Get it with Psalm 102, verse 13, inside that sand. And Psalm 115, inside that sand. When you read it, you are going to pray that the sand will favor you. That this sand in this country will favor me. Like I'm in Lagos, I will pray that the Lagos will favor me. Because I live in this Lagos, I pay my rent in this Lagos. Oh, you sand of Lagos, angels of this Lagos will favor me. Okay, you will not pray for favor. And after you have prayed on that sand, all right, mix it with salt, put it in your bathing water, and you'll be using it to bath for 21 days. While you are doing your VG praying on the problem, 
that we are passing through. Before that 21 days, you will surely have a, a very good revelation that your key has been returned to you, that restoration has come into your life, that doors that are closed has been able, you have been able to open those doors by the power of Sam and prayer. I hope you understand. So this is what I want to share with you based on the complaint I'm receiving. Okay? As you do that, you will see changes on that. Your intention matters. Okay? Make sure you pray your intention. When you are using that sand and salt in your bathing water, pray for abundance of peace, abundance of settlement, abundance of joy, Important to this sand will favor me. This mention the country you will favor me. You begin to work for my favor as I'm using it. The salt is for sweetness. I begin to enjoy this country. As others have testified that Germany is doing them good, my own Germany will do me good. Okay, you will pray for peace and restoration. I restore back. I connect the 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 the, the, the blessing of this land the blessing of this land i receive blessing from this land i receive joy i receive blessing i receive blessing i restore i recover all the blessings of this land because i'm here in peace so this land begins to work for my peace and for my favor and you will pray all right after you have done that prayer you will use that sand and the salt to bath all right, so you can get your sand and salt together, read the psalm together, and pray. But whenever you want to bath, you must chant Psalm 102, verse 13 inside that salt and sand in your bathing water, so that as you are clearing the problem, you are also collecting your blessing back. That is what I want to share with you. I hope you really understand. Just give it a try. You will surely come and testify. Bye-bye. God bless you.